Okay, everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. It is Monday, December 6th, 2021. Where to start with this lovely blog this morning? Um, well, here, let's start off with this. It's more of the same. We continue to get reports from last month that prove, yet again, our economy continues to shrink. No surprise to you. I've explained this to you forever. We got a warning here from Goldman Sachs regarding U.S. GDP. As a matter of fact, Goldman Sachs is lowering their forecast for U.S. GDP moving through next year. Why? Because our economy is in free fall and it, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. And as a percentage of GDP, people, our economy is going to crater. Um, that's just the way it's going to go here. It's being done on purpose, all right? We're in the middle of, of some freak show globally, okay? This is not a, a just a phenomenon here in the United States. You know what this is all about. You understand the driving force here. Um, a deliberate... Uh, gosh, I don't even know how to put this here. The central banks want to fulfill their end game. So they will keep pressure on the global economy in any manner that they need to do. Uh, again, they have the power to shut down the world, shut down the global economy so they can again become the lenders and buyers of last resort. So expect more. Expect more to come and expect the propaganda to get even bigger. Again, um, with our economy in free fall, you're going to hear you know, from the talking heads on the mainstream how great we're doing. Our economy is so strong. Um, it's out of control, but you know all this. Anyway, I'm sitting here this morning, and I'm just writing some stuff down here. Oh, we also got a warning from Morgan Stanley. I'm going to talk about that, too. So, right off the bat here, people, um, the United States is getting a U.S. GDP downgrade by the Wall Street Superbank because they understand where this is going. And, and Goldman Sachs and the other investment banks, they're going to buy it all along with the Federal Reserve moving forward. So, just, just be ready for that, too. Um, we're in the middle of, again, a wipeout of, of the entire middle class. I don't know another way to put it. I've been saying it all, forever now. Um, if you are, you know, lucky enough to be in the upper echelon of society, well, you're going higher. And, and the, um, the people on the lower rung, well, a lot of people are going to be joining you moving forward here globally, globally. Um, let's talk about Morgan Stanley's warning real quick. So cryptocurrencies have taken quite... A wild ride lately and every single time this happens and it happens over and over and over again you got you know whatever they are the freak freaky people out here oh this is it now it's finally going to zero Duh! I've been hearing this since I don't know how long here and uh look um, the warning we got here from Morgan Stanley with regard to cryptocurrencies is they're expecting more volatility and possibly another substantial drop in cryptocurrencies look don't listen to this this shit if I, as far as I'm concerned good if they're gonna put pressure on cryptocurrencies I'm all for it we know that there's not a single asset today whatsoever that has a real price discovery mechanism behind it nothing it's absolutely rigged upside down backwards and sideways and left and right and every way you want to talk about it I'm the entire financial system is the biggest clown show freak show in the history of the world and um you know, with, with with central banks doing what they're doing around the world, the Federal Reserve artificially suppressing rates now f since 2008, what do you expect? What do you expect would happen? That things are just going to be normal here? Or would you expect distortions across the entire spectrum of asset classes? That's opportunity. Okay, I don't know another way to put that either. When you understand what is going on here and why it's going on, it, you should start smiling. Do what I do, smile. They want to hit... Gold and silver, which incidentally are lower right now pre-market, uh, not not by much, but lower nonetheless. Cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin's around 48,000. You know, as you know, I always talk about Bitcoin because it pulls the other cryptos with it. So, but that's the way it's going to go. Um, anyway, if they want to rig it, 
uh, the market's good. Let them do that. Uh, with regard to, you know, becoming your own central bank, that means you must be people in anti-debt units. What are these things? Very simple. If you're new here, it's physical assets, gold and silver, more specifically silver. And yes, although cryptocurrency is not a physical thing, these are these are anti-debt units as well. If you don't want to be in that, that's fine. At least you need to be in something. And if you had to pick one, what would Greg Manorino tell you? I would tell you, you need to be in physical silver. To me, it will remain the most undervalued asset in the, in the history of the world uh, for the foreseeable future. So anyway, that's our warning here from Morgan Stanley that crypto is in for a wilder ride and could potentially take a bigger hit. Uh, crude oil, let's talk about crude. You know the game here, it's gonna get propped up. Well, crude oil pre-market right now is up like 3%. Why would that be? Well, it seems that Saudi Arabia is raising its price per barrel of oil. Imagine Greg Manorino shock. You can't imagine how shocked I am, no, no, no. Uh, so right now, crude oil is at around uh, 68.50 uh, WTI crude. Okay, expect that to go much higher as well, people. Again, the dollar is, is getting decimated. Crude oil is priced in U.S. dollars, okay? Uh, you understand the whole mechanism behind that. At least I hope you do here. The fiat monetary system, the petrol dollar, why the system is the way that it is. Um, and inflation is going to continue to surge, not just for crude oil, at an epic pace. And this is, again, by design, and there's all these freaks out here. Oh, the Fed, they're going to they're gonna taper faster. They're going to actually raise rates. Really? Let's laugh for a moment, you and me. You want to laugh? Okay. Let's think about this. Since the taper was announced, what happened to the entire yield curve? It came down, people. Yields have dropped across the board. Make it up. Make it up. Uh, the Fed will not be doing anything meaningful meaningful with regard to tapering, with regard to raising rates. You know this. It's not going to stop. Um, it's completely out of control on a massive scale. It's being done by design. Now, this whole thing with the with the moronic variant people, the fear campaign is in full in full swing, and they're now making um, you know the vax compulsory and mandatory. Not just around the world, but here in the United States, believe me, uh, the the new set of rules includes the fact that they own you, they own your body, and they can do whatever they want to you or to your body. So it's, it's incredible. Um, you know what happened to all those people? Like I said, you know, my body, my choice. I don't hear a damn thing anymore. Well, anyway, you know, it's because they have their agenda as well, and it should be pretty evident. Let's look at the market. Right now, stock futures are mixed. You got Dow futures higher, S&P futures higher, NASDAQ futures lower. I already explained to you about crude oil, gold and silver under a little pressure, cryptos, whatever. They're kind of all over the place here. Let's keep our eye on the MMRI, people. The Manorino Market Risk Indicator, which at the close Friday of uh, trading, was it like 80? Okay, what does that mean? It means risk in this market is dropping. That means buy the freaking dips, people. Buy the dips in the market, the stock market. Buy the dips in cryptocurrencies. Buy the dips in, in precious metals. Buy the dips in crude oil. Buy the dips in everything, all right? Again, at the risk of sounding like a permable, uh, that's what you need to do because, again, do you sincerely believe, how many of you, I want to hear from you, write a comment here, please. How many of you sincerely believe the propaganda from the mainstream dog shit talking heads that the Fed is going to actually do something meaningful? Do you believe the Fed is really going to stop buying assets? Do you really believe the Fed is going to stop funneling dollars around the world? Do you believe that? If you do... <laughs> You are in the wrong spot, people. You need to go follow some of the freak out here on YouTube or wherever else. It's not going to stop. They will fulfill their end game to be the lender and buyer of last resort to own it all. This is the goal of central banks. You know that. So what does it mean? It means they're going to continue to do what? Inflate, inflate, and freaking inflate even more. With regard to the, the Federal Reserve's balance sheet, I, re I 
referred to this yesterday in my markets a look ahead. Keep your eyes on it. There is a link in description of that video. You can keep your eyes on the Fed's balance sheet. You know what we're allowed to see? And keep in mind, the Fed has a private balance sheet like most corporations do. Okay, They have the public balance sheet that you and I can look at. And they have a, another balance sheet that no one can see. And that's the one where they're funneling dollars around the world uh, so other central banks can buy assets with dollars. We are in the middle of the biggest freaking absolute shit show in the face of the earth, people. Um, again, and I know you get it, nothing makes sense anymore because everything is so twisted and so distorted. But if you understand that it's all about control right, over everything, even your body, your thoughts are being controlled. There's no free thought allowed. There's no free action allowed. There's no free movement allowed anymore. It's the new paradigm that Greg Manorino has told you would come from years ago. And you haven't seen a damn thing yet, people. I'm telling you, we need to band together. There's strength in numbers, okay? That's a fact. And uh, with that said, I'm going to urge you to, to share my work. Get it out there. Let people hear these things and make up their own minds. Don't believe anything I say at any moment. Do your own research into it. And you're going to you're going to have a rude awakening when you find out that everything I've been telling you for years is 100% true. This guy here loves you a lot people. I will see all of you at the end of the day. Um well, that's it. We're going to sum it up later. <laughs>